must say there was a, a joyful sense of accomplishment, not only for Africa, not only for the people of the Republic of South Sudan, but also for the international community. The fact that there is a newborn baby admitted to the community of nations as the 193rd member state and the 54th African country raises hope about the resolution of conflicts. Indeed, perhaps one can see this as a model, an example of the peaceful resolution of conflicts, of a negotiated nationhood. This has been a protracted civil war lasting over many decades. As you know, Nigeria has played a very vital role in the peace process, in the Sudanese peace process, and especially in the Darfur peace process. And um, it is gratifying for us to know that even as members of the Security Council, we have assiduously pursued the peace process, placed it on the front burner, pursued and molded and led an African consensus on this issue in the Security Council, of course aided by the assiduous work of the high Afri AU high level implementation panel led by Tabo Mbeki, of course, with the membership of our own Abdul Salam Abubakar, the former head of state of Nigeria. So it is a collective sense of accomplishment. But we must also, at this time, get over the euphoria of this accomplishment and begin to focus on tackling and eliminating the inherent challenges. There are challenges of pending issues, outstanding issues in the Comprehensive Peace Agreement, issues of citizenship, the sharing of wealth, the Kodovan and the Blue Nile, the question of Abiyé. In fact, in the past two days, as you know, we have had skirmishes in South Kodovan. So these are issues that we must address so that the new nation can have opportunity to democratize, consolidate, is democratization process, begin to address the issue of infrastructure on the whole nation building. But it is a great accomplishment for the AU and it is indeed a great lesson for the continent, for our organization to realize that peaceful settlement of disputes can be possible, as we did with the Republic of Cameroon over the Bakasi. That again is one model that we can address our own problems and that we can solve them, giving support from, the, from all well-meaning nations in the world. What do you expect from the new government of South Sudan? The new government is determined. They have been through the pangs of the struggle, the struggle for self-determination. And there are lessons learned from that struggle, lessons 
concerning mobilizing the people and serving the interests of the people, the greatest lesson is that you must not alienate the people you serve. There must be an all-inclusiveness within a plural society. The Republic of South Sudan must realize the pluralistic nature of its society and so must adopt an all-inclusive policy. There must be no alienation. That is the first step to success in nation building.